everything does not have to be overly expensive, right? Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Charlene Marie, and this is Charlene Marie Lifestyle. So today we're going to be doing something really fun, something I love. We're going to be talking about elevating our home with items from one of my favorite stores, Amazon. So if you're interested, just keep watching. When elevating your home, you can shop at multiple different stores. One of the stores that I like to shop when I'm looking for things that are different, we're jumping right into the video and we're going to talk about our first item. So you see me with my cup, right? But look at my straw. The straw is gold. It's a gold metal straw and I purchased this straw from Amazon. And hold one second. Amazon has longer straws that are straight, but this is the straw. So what I like about these straws are two things. One, the straw is gold. With my drink, with my golden straw, it elevates my drink, right? I've had these straws for about six months. I'm thoroughly enjoying these straws. And also I have put these straws in the dishwasher several times, more than several times. And they haven't budged. They still look brand new, like I took them right out of the pack. So I would definitely recommend these straws. And once again, I want to get out of here so I can, so you can see. Like I just love the look. When I'm at home, I like to eat and sip pretty. That you can elevate your experience when you're fine dining at home or just having a glass of water. But the moral of the story is. The straws will elevate your just overall aesthetic and you won't have to worry about purchasing plastic straws when you're at home. So next, what do we have? More straws, right? So these two are glass straws. So I love having my milkshakes and my smoothies using the glass straws. Anything of a very thick consistency I like to use these glass straws and it's like hard for me to drink anything that's like cold of a thick consistency without a glass straw now they do have plastic smoothie straws but once again you have to purchase them because they're really throwaway straws these glass straws can go right in your dishwasher or if you don't have a dishwasher, you can easily wash them by hand very well. And once again, it elevates your drinking experience. It, it just looks so pretty when you fix your drink. Oh, and I love to drink my iced coffee using these straws as well. So I will link these. Amazon always have very, very cute things and just things you maybe wouldn't even think of purchasing. But these glass straws are bomb. And so I will link them. Next we have a watering can for your flowers or plants you know i love plants you know i'm a plant mom and this right here is just so chic to me you normally will see those like plastic cans that just look boring this is just a whole experience when i'm watering my plants it's just aesthetically pleasing and i love it and so when i'm looking to purchase things I look for the little things as well because I'm able to leave this out on my um, end table and it almost looks like decor even though it's functional. And that's another thing that I'm going to constantly talk about on my channel. When you purchase things for your home, just because it's pretty, it can also be functional. As, it can also be functional and it should be functional. Once again, this is pretty, but it's functional. I use this watering um can for my plants every single day especially my peace lily flower um especially my peace lily plant it's like very very thirsty all the time and so i have to water it daily so let me let you see the can 
so once again it's just beautiful it's just beautiful in appearance and I'm here for it and so I'll make sure to link this and I've had this cam uh, for maybe about two years and it looks brand new so what do we have next coasters these are coasters from my actual bedroom they're like this emerald green with black speckles and I don't really know if it's translating on camera but they're very pretty and on the back they actually have a felt and I purchased this from Amazon and I'll make sure to try to link these um, I've had these for maybe about two years and I just love how even if we put something cold on these coasters there's no watermarks or anything and it protects your furniture but when you're putting a coaster on your um, nightstand or table it's about the experience look how pretty these things are so once again it's elevating your space you have your gold straws you or your glass straws and now you have beautiful coasters right it's a whole vibe and I'm here for it so I'll make sure to link these and once again these are marbled coasters so we're going to keep the thing going we just did straws coasters and now we're going to tap into the cups all right so this is a cup that i purchased from amazon it's a doubled wall heat proof cold proof cup so if you have something cold in this cup or if you have something hot in this cup it will keep it cold hot you know you know the vibe and so I just like it because it's very minimal and I love to drink my coffee out of this cup I really don't put anything cold in this cup I just use these cups pretty much specifically for coffee this is the 16 ounce for a point of reference um, because I love a lot of cream in my coffee I just love the aesthetic of it and I've had these cups for over three years actually I purchased a few more because I believe they come in set of twos and I just like to have them they're just pretty and it's just the simplicity there's so much luxury and simplicity and I'm here for it it's just a whole experience it just makes me want coffee like right now <laughs> I'm in the mood for drinks so what do we have here wine glasses so let me see make sure you can see this so I really love these wine glasses initially when I got these wine glasses I'm, I'm not gonna lie I was a little hmm, underwhelmed because I like a little weight to my wine glasses these are not extremely light but they're not extremely heavy oh, should I return them I'm glad I didn't so I've had these wine glasses for maybe about a year year and a half and I really like that they're very modern that's number one I like the rounded but square just like the how chic they are I even use this as a prop in my photo shoot because they're just bomb I put these in the dishwasher with no problem um, I use them often I wash them often in the dishwasher not by hand and they withstand heat and they're not um, as fragile as I thought they would be moral of the story purchase these the items that I'm showing you I won't say that they're must-haves but they're items that I've purchased I feel like they just elevate your home living experience and you know I'm all about a elevated home lifestyle you know I'm all about the home you know I'm a homebody I do go outside but I love to be at home and so those are like little things that I purchased and I like how they look aesthetically and the functionality so we're talking about my bedroom 
so now we're going to get into my silk pillowcases and I just ordered these and they just came in the mail from Amazon so I will link these pillowcases as well and I'm trying to open it so these are mulberry silk pillowcases and this is I believe the king size yep I can tell about how long it is it's the king size and they're like they're like super duper long so I love these pillowcases a because you know I'm all about the healthy hair and if my I do wear a silk um, scarf at night but if my scarf comes off or if I forget to wrap my hair I don't fret because all of my pill pillowcases are mulberry silk and so I'm all good I don't have to worry about my hair being damaged and mulberry silk pillowcases are good for your skin um, it helps to reduce wrinkles it's just hypoallergenic and um, this is a natural fiber and so you just sleep better you don't have to worry about being overheated it's just silk pillowcases are a vibe and I love them so I think I ordered these in either white or ivory I normally order these pillowcases probably every four months and I get white or ivory or white and ivory I just like having them in rotation now <clears throat> I will give a disclaimer I'm supposed to wash these pillowcases I believe by hand they do give instructions I don't I pop them inside of a um, garment bag and put the wash on delicate and then I will hang them or if I'm in a rush and I need them <laughs> I will actually put them on in the dryer on delicate I don't recommend that you do that that's just what I do but they come out fine for me and I love them and I love this particular brand um, I do like that these pillowcases have a zipper so when your pillow is in there it's nice and snug and the pillows on the, the zippers on the side and so you guys let's get into it let's talk about them these three items <laughs> so let me let you see I know you like Stephanie what is this we have a wick dipper for your candle we have a lighter oh I need to charge this lighter <laughs> but this is a lighter it's rechargeable via USB by the way and then we have the candle wick cutter thingy so this is the reason why these three items are necessary first of all they're gold they do come in black I believe black white silver but I have the gold of course and this particular set there is um, well this actually didn't come as a set and so the gold are kind of different tones but I'm fine with it they do have sets but I wanted this particular wick cutter and so that's why I went with a different brand but I will link this wick cutter this is by a company called Wickman I believe moral of the story is this a I don't really know how to use a regular lighter so this is more safer for me <laughs> and my nails and just everything so I like this type of lighter to light my candles and it's just pretty so when you're lighting your candle and you have this like little pretty thing to light your candle with it's just a whole vibe who wouldn't want this everybody needs this right and this is a very important tool because if you don't trim your wick between your burns if you're burning a candle or if you're going to start investing in candles but <clears throat> this is what you need because if you do not trim your wick 
between burns when you go to light it it will produce a lot of soot and a lot of like black smoke and you do not want that in your home that's how people get like soot on their walls or people say I don't want to burn a candle because it's going to leave residue not if you trim your wick and also if you trim your wick you will get the longevity of your candle because a lot of candles say hey we have a hundred hour burn time 200 hour burn time maybe 250 others will say I only burnt this candle for 24 hours and you know the candle is messed up it's, un it's an uneven burn or I can't relight it because of A, B, and C if you keep your wicks cut properly you'll get an even burn all the way through to the end of your candle. And I usually only burn my candle until it's about this much left and then I no longer burn. But needless to say, you're going to get an even burn and your actual wax will stay very crystal clear. It will be clean because you've cleaned the burnt wick with your wick cut. Right? Right. So I don't like to waste money. I might spend money but I don't waste money there's a difference so when you trim your wick you're getting your longevity out of your candle and then the smell you don't have to worry about smelling something that smells burnt which brings me to the next thing the wick dipper there is multiple ways to put out your candle. Joe Malone recommends that when you put out your candle that you place the top on your candle but most candle companies don't recommend that Bath and Body Works does not recommend that. So whatever the distributor of your candle or the company of your candle recommends as to how you put out your candle, follow the recommendation. My everyday burning candle is the Bath and Body Works candle and they recommend that you, I believe that you put the wicks out. I don't believe that they recommend that you put the lid on. Don't do that. Okay, but I use this wick dipper. And when I use this wick dipper, I just put the place the wick in the wax and it produced no smoke at all. So there's no back scent of, oh, my home was smelling good. It was smelling like eucalyptus or whatever kind of candle you like to burn. And now it's smelling like smoke. You don't get any type of smoke or residue. And I'm here for it because that was one reason for many years outside of other things that I did not burn candles until I learned the trick and I learned this trick from a youtuber some time ago I can't remember like who it was but it was just a random video but I've been doing this for the like the last three years and to my surprise which I'm not surprised anymore because it's been three years this is the way and I love it and so more of the story look how pretty this is but these three things in their self is a must-have and I'm here for the aesthetics you guys so I'm standing right by my coffee table and what do I do pick up a book Stephanie why do you have a book made for living by Amber Lewis. Why do I have this book in my hand? Because I purchased it from Amazon. Why do I need a book from Amazon? Because I need to style my home with it. My sideboards, coffee tables, um, console tables. You can never go wrong with a book. Okay. And what I like about these books that you purchase from Amazon is sometimes people say, how do you style your home? How do you get inspiration? You can get them right from these books from Amazon. Like they have some very, very interesting decor and just ideas. And I just love the aesthetics of the books. So a lot of people do go to Home Goods and other stores like the resale shop for books, which those are great places because I go there for books as well. But do not sleep on Amazon. Amazon has some great books I even I believe purchased a Chanel book from Amazon so you can definitely get great books to style your home from Amazon or if you just want to read through a book from Amazon so 
I will link this book and I love the color because it's gray and it's hardback. It's gray but it's not. It's kind of like a creamy undertone, very neutral. And you know, it was in my color palette so I had to get it, right? You guys, I didn't want to make this video too long but I hope it's not too long. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. This is another item that I purchased from Amazon. It should have been with my kitchen stuff, like with the cups, but I forgot about it. This is my frother. This, I believe this was like under 15 bucks. And I like it because A, it has a gold button here that you push. And it has a little stand. And I'm not... I, there's all types of frothers that you can purchase at all types of price points but I'm not a huge frother I like froth sometimes so for a person who likes something sometimes a 10-15 dollar purchase such as this frother and what I like about it is it takes a battery and this battery has been in here for some time and it's just function well it looks well and I'm all here for it so when you want that Starbucks frappuccino TV coffee experience I got you this is it and it's beautiful in appearance why am I standing here with a um, lint brush I'm a sticky lint brush I'm going to tell you why is because not only is this good for your clothes to get lint off obviously it's good for your furniture so say if you have a pillow and you want to go over your pillow like your couch pillow to get any um, fuzz dust or something if you don't sit in that area often this is great but I mainly like to use this lint brush for my lamps you know I you know I love lamps and so and I have a few of them that has shades such as the one with the linen shade on behind me if you guys can see it here but I just take this lint brush and roll over it it gets all of the lint off easily that is a great hack and so that keeps me from having to worry about cleaning it all of the time because I'm keeping it dust free even though no one's touching it it's just linen that it is a, that is a linen shade and FYI linen attracts dust it's pretty but know that when you buy anything linen furniture drapes um lampshades they like call all the dust <laughs> so i go over my lampshades probably just like every three weeks once a month to be honest i don't do it all of the time and they're usually fine you know but just know that when you're picking those types of materials they're pretty and they attract dust and so this is an easy way to spend literally a minute cleaning each lampshade and how much do you think a lint brush costs not much money what do we have here we have a general electric shout out to GE I love GE products um, we have this light bulb this one is on a timer so you can use this light bulb place it in your lamp or even in your overhead lighting and put the timer on so it can come on and go off at a certain time I love this because sometimes I just don't have time to turn lights on and off <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but sometimes I want a light on in a particular room when I come into that room this is the key you're preserving energy because the light is just not on all day or all night you can set it to go on and off at a particular time and they're energy efficient and I want to say this is a form of elevation because and if you're gone from home like even if you're just coming in from working you want a light on this is it and you don't have to worry about leaving the light on or you can buy other type of smart lights but I'm choosing this for now here we go so this is my newest fave this is the light without power so you charge these light bulbs up for 10 hours you put it in a lamp or put it in an overhead light leave that light on for 10 hours and it charges this light 
I believe this light lasts like five or six hours. Yep, it says five hours battery power life. So what happens is if your lights go out at home, this functions as a flashlight. But also what I did, which I'll show you in another video is, I wanted this light in my hallway. And my hallway has a few light switches, but not where my console table is. So I cut the cord of my lamp and I placed this in there after I charged it up. So at night I have a lamp in my hallway, no cord, and it looks so luxurious. And I don't have to worry about where am I going to plug this lamp up? How am I going to get a power source? What literally I have power in my hallway clearly. But I like lamps. As I explained before, if you haven't watched my buffet versus sideboard um, video, you can go and watch that. I talk about how I suffer from headaches and your girl love lamps. So this is a way where you can turn your lamp on even if that lamp doesn't have power source. It does have power. It has this light that you can literally turn on and off. This light bulb has an on and off switch. So I'm definitely here for it. I will link this. So if you have clothes that peel or furniture that peels, like if you don't have leather furniture, if you have a different material, I don't care where you get the furniture from, sometimes it may suffer from peeling. This is the key. This I re-gifted my other one, so I had to purchase another one from Amazon, but what this does is if you um, have any type of little balls on your clothes or your furniture, it shaves it right off. It makes your clothes and furniture look brand new. I love this thing because sometimes we know you wash something and you're like, where are these balls coming from? I got you. This is the key. This thing right here. This will save you from discarding things or even your furniture. I have friends that have different material couches. You don't have to worry about the little balls. This gets it off and make your furniture look brand new. You can even use these for your decorative pillows. Anywhere where there's any shaving, this little tool right here is a must have. So last but not least, I have this lamp here. This lamp is just so pretty to me. It reminds me of a lamp that I saw at Restoration Hardware. I will link this lamp. No, 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 it's not Restoration Hardware. CB2. Anyway, the CB2 lamp is like $300. This lamp is nowhere near that, okay? And it looks the same. Now I will say, CB2, when it comes to their lamp and usually their decor, because I have plenty, they don't miss but I just couldn't see me paying $300 for a lamp that I don't know if I'm gonna love for a long time just couldn't do it but I'm very happy I purchased this lamp actually I got the idea from one of the other youtubers that I follow her name is House of Valentina and I believe this is the lamp that she talked about but at any rate it is definitely bomb and I'm here for it and this is going to go in my kitchen nook and once I style it I will let you guys see but once again elevating your your space from Amazon is definitely achievable a good point of reference when elevating my home just overall decorating my home to mix high and low end items and I won't even say low-end items. You don't always have to shop at expensive stores to get quality things. This lamp is definitely a quality piece. And I love how it illuminates. So you guys, sometimes we go to a nice hotel, a nice restaurant, and we say, oh my God, that was such an experience. It was so nice. I want to go back there. Well, obviously we didn't have to cook the food. And so we were able to relax and enjoy whatever meal we had. But a lot of times it's an, it's an experience because of the aesthetics, the visual effect, and 
they may have had nice glasses nice silverware we are giving our home that experience let's normalize luxury living at home and on a budget via amazon i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and i will see you guys right here next week bye